I buy my awesome stuff at Tuesday morning, which is a uh, linen store pretty much, uh, which is where I got, it's kind of an island of misfit toys, you know, where you get uh, toys that have been discontinued because uh, they infringe on a license, you know. So uh, I picked up this guy for uh, 30 or 40 bucks, I can't remember which. Uh, it's got the amplifier built into it, and when I picked it up off the shelf, boy, oh boy, was it bad out of tune. And I'll show you how I fixed it in a minute. But first, let's hear how it sounds while it's good. So it's a great little travel guitar. Uh, it's got a headphone jack. It's got a jack for uh, to plug into a real amp, and uh, and uh, but what it doesn't have, see, is it's got a very bad bridge on it, and that means that it's not going to adjust very well. Uh, look at, see, there's no adjustments on that bridge. It's just a piece of pressed bent metal, and so that means that when you uh, when you adjust it for for to play in tune up and down the neck the adjustment that you make is i've done this in an i've shown this in another uh episode you play this string and then you play it fretted and it's supposed to be an octave away which it kind of is you, you play the next string it's supposed to be an octave away and if it is or isn't you move the uh you move the bridge forward or back or up or down to adjust um when i got it Though it was hopeless. See, it's not too far off now because I got lucky. When I got it, it was hopeless because these strings were really far up off the neck. And I will demonstrate to you in reverse how I fixed it. First, I loosen the strings. There, the strings are loose. Then, now remember, this happened in reverse order, so I actually tuned it. Then I put the neck back on, which I will demonstrate by putting, taking the neck off. Never be afraid of your guitar, especially a cheap one. Oh, oh. Uh, also running backwards, I, I did not tune this guitar to E, I tuned it to G. And the way that I chose that pitch was that I held the neck up against a regular guitar and saw that when I line up the two bridges, the, uh, the headstock end of this guitar comes up to right around where the G would be on a regular guitar. So that means that if I tune this one to a G, it'll play pretty much like a regular guitar with a capo on the third fret. All right, so I just take off those four strings and voila! Oh. Or four, I take off these four screws, and voila, the neck pops right off. Don't be scared, don't be scared. Yes, it's a delicate adjustment, yes, but it was in crummy condition. So you pop the neck off, and let me show you, this is the time-honored way to fix a tilted neck. Okay, that is a guitar pick. And if you go to any of the old guitars that Fender made back in the 60s, you will see that they've all got guitar picks for shims under the neck. And this is what it looked like when I got it. The strings were way up off, off the uh, fretboard. And the tuning of it was just terrible. Because the strings had to stretch a long way down to get to their fret. But by popping this off. Now I'm going in forward order again. By, by popping the neck off and taking a pick and shoving it under the back of the neck. I think it made it in there. Notice I'm doing this all without turning off the guitar because you want to hear the weird sounds. I press it back in. I screw the neck on. See, it doesn't take long. And what's the worst you can do? Ruin a $30 guitar. Who cares? And that, that's part of the hack that I wanted to show. And if you want to go for a little bit, Ben, you go for it, and I will share something else.